Hi, I'm Candice, Global Trainer for TopCon Healthcare. After entering a new patient or selecting an existing patient and activating the scan acquisition, start with the CA800 pulled back towards the operator as far as the instrument will allow. Position the patient so they have their chin down and forward in the chin rest and their forehead forward against the forehead rest. For this particular test, adjust the chin rest height so the lower eyelid of the eye is aligned with the canthus marker. Adjust the table height as necessary for the patient's back and neck comfort. Meibomian gland imaging is an important part of any dry eye examination. The C800 captures and quantifies gland loss to support clinical decision making and monitoring the effectiveness of treatments. Since aversion of the upper lid can cause some tearing, it is best to leave meibomian gland assessment until after the assessment of tear meniscus height and breakup. To start taking images, simply select the tear tab at the bottom of the screen, then select MIBE option. Avert the lid and gently hold it in position. In this case, we're looking at the lower eyelid. Use the joystick to position the CA800 so that the inner surface of the eyelid, the palpebral conjunctiva, is in focus. It is not always easy depending on the patient's eyelids, but try to avert the lid in such a way as to create as flat a surface as possible in order to maximize the area of glands that you assess. Press the joystick button two or three times to capture a few images, then release the eyelid and repeat for the other eye. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to topconhealthcare.com.